Welcome back to the channel, guys. Oh, man, man, man. Make sure y'all stay hydrated out there. Hot day, hot day. So, y'all know I normally do music reactions on this channel, right? But this... <laughs> oh, brother Eric. <laughs> this video was sent to me. My first black cookout. Now, y'all know I'm all about bringing people together. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. This is one of my dreams. It's to bring one of my white friends to a cookout. All right. Growing up in South Central LA, I didn't have many white friends. I knew I knew some white people, but we weren't like tight tight. I know I know some friends now that I could bring that would probably lose their mind. We gotta wait till all this is over before we can have a cookout. So <laughs> Oh, man, super excited for this. I don't know if you guys have seen this already, but we are here, all right? So let's jump right into it. All right, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? <laughs> Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. All now, right. with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. This man ain't never lied. <laughs> if I see a cop driving... I don't care how slow he going, I'm either going to be right on the side of him or right behind him. <laughs> oh, that's hella accurate. It's like passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up to the cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick-em-up truck, I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. All right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great-grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. All right. Which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table. Where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating at, okay? They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Oh, man. Well, they say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Hey. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this <laughs> with barbecue. <laughs> Okay? And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at. A whopping these two dish. ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two different potato salads. All right. They say, we want to get your, your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently. I'll tell y'all right now. All right. If y'all ever in this situation, they both taste good. All right. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare choose. <laughs> Send me two of his aunties with two different potato salads. All right. They say we want to get your, your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, Apparently, just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout, okay? So I ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. There you go. Now, at this oh. current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. The and just... then his great-grandmama, Mama T, that's what they call her, she comes up to me 
with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. Oh Lord. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. <laughs> all right. Back barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness and she wants, she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, <laughs> I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened yeah. to Craig and Day Day yeah. when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. <laughs> so as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. That's great grandma. So you don't oh, mess with her. Man. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis of a food coma. Yeah, we done. I, we done. We done. <laughs> Y'all know. I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm almost there. All right. Maybe about 90%. For those who don't know, I got my, my wisdom teeth and stuff taken out. This brother is killing me right now. A Caucasian cacost. What, what the hell he say? <laughs> Man. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Oh. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis of a <laughs> food coma. And I did just like this right here, just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. Yeah, as the soon as itis. I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for, but somehow I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stakes spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? <laughs> and now the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea. All right, I'm white. We played go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right, put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we tossed it at each other. That's what we do. Who I have no idea man? what spades is. So <laughs> as they give me the runaround idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, <laughs> I really, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is... I don't even know how to play spades. I don't know how to play dom dominoes, but I count real slow. So this brother, <laughs> books, I don't know what the hell you talking about. That I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock 9s hit the top of the table. What? I've got every damn spade that you could possibly have and three other aces. He said three Glocks. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up and one of his cousins come over and tap me on the shoulder and say, hey buddy, you wanna go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. Dominoes. But I ain't gonna piss nobody off. You gotta understand at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. <laughs> Don't. Okay. Now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, That's what I which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge, but apparently, Bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head whoa, was spinning. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I have been bamboozled. <laughs> what? Bones is dominoes. Wait, did, I can't remember. Did he say he was in the South somewhere? Maybe it's different. Dice? Man. 
What the hell? I was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge, but apparently bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. Okay, and apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money and I just put some more down until I ran out of money, <laughs> which is fine. Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck and I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place. Now, I get to my truck. I put my hand on my truck to go open it, and there's a, like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like, I didn't piss nobody off. Nothing went wrong. I went, whew, Oh, man. Made it. Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout is behind me. Everybody there is right around my truck with Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me. He said, Hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday. You coming back? And I looked at him. <laughs> Bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back. That's right. the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. I scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> but at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. <laughs> y'all want some ice or like or like some, uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and oh. bring him? You know, so he'll, he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. <laughs> y'all, what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me, and I, which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. Shit. Well, shit, apparently, I ain't as black as I thought I was. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, man. <laughs> this brother was stating... 100% facts. I mean, I I brought friends. I brought friends to like, you know, people say cookout, but it is, it's pretty much like most of the cookouts happen like at, at like a family reunion type of thing. Or sometimes like somebody, it, it's always somebody uncle or somebody who, always think they they're the best cook in the family and and they they just go buy all this meat pause <laughs> go buy all this meat and they just want to start inviting people you know all you need is a grill some music and that little that little table with those four chairs to play dominoes on and you're good <laughs> as long as people have enough space to do the electric slide the cubic shuffle y'all are good all right then you get people in the middle of the street talking, just just with the red cups. That's pretty much what goes down. You know, it's always a good time and just reminiscing and stuff, man. But I brought friends to that, man. And people be like, man, your family cool as hell. But like, I that is one, that is my goal when all of this is over. Because I've, I've had, I've had, functions you know there's cookouts and there's functions you know i've had functions at at this house and and i've i've had co-workers come over and stuff and you know you play like beer pong and and board games and stuff like that but like a cookout is totally different you know you get your family trying to embarrass you in front of your friends stuff like that <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, this brother was talking straight facts, man, straight facts. When he said, when he said a Caucasian cockitis or whatever the hell he said, 
That's that itis, man. That itis when you eat and you feel like you need, you can sleep for nine days because <laughs> you're so full. And they keep bringing you stuff and bringing you stuff. Oh, man, and that potato salad, he is not lying. Just say both of them are good. Both of them. Just put both of them on your plate. Oh, man. Like I said, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but you go, you know I'm about bringing people together. And like I said, man, this is just one of those videos where you, like, come on, y'all. <laughs> oh, man, this was excellent. Excellent. All right, man. So <laughs> I got some more reactions to get to. I just want to get to this one. Wanted to get to this one first, man. So going to stop it right there. Hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe, all right? You guys stay safe. Peace out.